you're given a problem where you're asked to find the percent increase or percent decrease, it will be stated specifically, as in this example. For something to increase or decrease, you'll have an original amount and a new amount. You'll have to identify the change. In this example, it goes from 30 to 18. So that's a change of 12. You get that by subtracting. You could have a problem where the change is given specifically. That'll be the last example in this video. You put the change over the original. This gives you a fraction. You want to reduce if it's easy, just so you have smaller numbers to work with. Then you change this fraction over to a decimal using long division. And then you take that answer and change it to a percent. And you have to move a decimal two spaces towards the percent sign in order to put in the percent sign. Change, change, change. Change, change, change. Change, change, change. Change, you fool. I'll give you a moment to read the sentence. Referring to the change from the original value to the new value, it's going to be from 30 to 18. We will subtract to get that value. So we have a change of 12. Since we want the change over the original, we'll have 12 over 30. That's our original value. And notice with this fraction, we can reduce very easily. Divide by 6 and divide by 6 leaves us with 2 over 5. And now this 2 fifths, we will change to decimal. We'll use long division. So we have 2 divided by 5. It doesn't fit. 5 goes into 20 four times. Now we take this decimal and we change it to a percent. So to change 4 tenths to a percent, that is put in a percent sign, you move the decimal two places towards the percent sign. So we have a 40 percent decrease. I'll give you a moment to read this question. So the change from the original to the new is going to be 121,400 to 170,800. We'll subtract to find this change. So the change is 49,400. So we'll put our change of 49,400 over the original, which is 121,400. You do want to reduce if it's easy, and here you can divide by 100, divide by 100. So for the next step, we'll change this fraction to a decimal with long division. Obviously, this does not fit into that. So 
So 1,214 into 4,940 might not be easy to think about, but 12 goes into 49 four times, that'd be 48. So we'll try four times 1,214 and see if it fits. And it does. Bring down a digit. 1,214 goes into 840. Zero times. Bring down another digit. Now it's going to be some work figuring out exactly how many times 1,214 goes into 8,400. But notice they've asked us to round to the nearest percent. When I change this to a percent, I'm going to move the decimal two places. So I just need to know if this digit is five or greater. If it's five or greater, I'm going to round up to 41. Well, it has to be five or greater because four times 1,214 gave me 4,856. I'll certainly need a number greater than four. In fact, without even having to calculate, I know it's going to be five or greater. So the decimal value that we're going to change to a percent is 41 hundredths. And to put in a percent sign, we move the decimal two spaces towards the percent sign. So we have a 41% increase. I'll give you a moment to read the sentence. Now with this question, the change is not going to require that we subtract it's simply given. We start off with a $30,000 car and the value drops by 3,339. So this is our change. Over the original 30,000 uh, as far as reducing, I say if it's easy I could reduce by a factor of three here, but I'm just going to leave it the way it is. That probably wouldn't occur to most people. So we'll change this fraction to a decimal. So we simply take our decimal and change it to a percent. Move the decimal two places towards the percent sign and put in the percent sign. So we have 11.13% decrease in value. If you would like some practice with these concepts, as long as you're at my website, I have a worksheet along with a detailed answer key.